good morning everyone it is monday morning and today i have a ton of things to do on my list first being i need coffee because i don't know if you guys see it i'm so so exhausted um second i am going to at home stores and target and a couple other places to try and find some throw pillows for this love seat and this couch never mind what's going on back there that is uh, where we're holding all of the trash for our host um, decor overhaul so everything we get we're just putting it over there but we're not finished with the deliveries in fact our bed just got here let me show you guys you won't be able to see the design but actually you might I think it might be on here okay no but that's the headboard it doesn't matter that's the bed <laughs> and it's here and my husband's on his way home right now to set that up. So yeah, I'm gonna go get my coffee and then I'm gonna take you guys along with me to look for some throw pillows and some more house decor um, at home stores. My brother-in-law, Dylan, put me on. If you guys watch our family channel, The Sands Family, you guys know about Uncle Din. He's got the best taste and he put me onto that store and it's like a second away from where we live. So. I spend most of my time, if not pretty much all of my time there. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you how I'm gonna pick out our throw pillow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a picture of this area. And the reason I'm doing that is because, here you guys can see, the reason I'm doing that is because I need to make sure that every pillow is as close as I can get to the color that the couch is. So I'm gonna do a couple beige, big ones, and then some smaller accent pillows. So I'm just taking the picture to make sure like, you know, when I reference it, like it makes sense. So I'm not doing a super deep beige or something that's too pale that's closer to white. So to me, all these things matter. Anyways, I'm about to go get my coffee. I was gonna have my, um, my concentrated coffee here at home but I just feel like either like a peppermint mocha or a pumpkin spice latte right now. So that is where I'm going. I will give you guys a little preview of our outdoor Christmas decor. It's not much, just this cute little wreath and this little three piece right here. It is leaning, but on the package it's leaning on the picture. So I'm assuming that it's supposed to be leaning. It does light up and uh, once you plug it in, but I couldn't figure that out. There's like a million different plugs, so I just kind of left it like that. And then we have that little frosted garland up top as well, so. All right, you guys, I will catch you once I've had my coffee. We just left Starbucks and I got my peppermint mocha with two shots of espresso. I actually got the frappuccino. Anything that I get at Starbucks, I always make it a frap with double espresso. I also got the holiday turkey and stuffing panini. You guys, when I was pregnant, oh my God, I could not stay away from these things. I would literally beg, text my husband to whatever like he was doing, just stop and take me to Starbucks. And one time we went to three different Starbucks in one day and none of them had them and I was going to lose my stuff. So I'm so grateful that they had them today. I'm going to devour this. So I'm on my way home. Mmm, so good, it's so minty. So I'm on my way home. Then um, I'm gonna meet up with my husband. We're probably gonna set up the bed and then I'm gonna end up uh, circling back to at-home stores to see what they have there. So I will catch you guys at home when hubby shows up. So I'm home, hubby is here. He just broke down our other bed. I'm not gonna show you because it looks atrocious, but this is our new one. You guys can kind of see the color already. It's like this, um, this brushed gold. It's so, so cute. It's not quite bronze, but it's not um, like super, super dipped gold. It's kind of like, kind of like our lamps, like that color. So what's going on with this dresser, dresser? What's going on with this dresser is I'm actually sending it back. It did come with a couple chips like right there and some on the other one. So I sent it back and I actually got some different ones um, that are bigger and I think they're prettier. So yeah, that's that. I'm just gonna let him do what he does and set up the rest of this bed. I'm gonna post up in this corner and get some some work done. This is the current progress on the bed. 
We are leaning one of the largest pieces against the wall just for now while he sets up the rest of it. It looks great. I love the color. I don't, I don't know why it's not picking up on camera. Maybe it is. Maybe it'll pick up in post. Okay, that. That's what the color looks like. You see how the light hits it right there? See, that's kind of dark right here in this area, but that's what it looks like in person right now. It is so beautiful. Maybe I can show you guys from where the sun is hitting it. Okay, yeah. Wait, almost had it, almost had it. That's pretty much what the color looks like. It's so beautiful. I can't wait until our new dressers get in. It's just gonna tie everything together. Progress. This bed is so huge, you guys can't even see. There we go. Look at how close it is. When you put it up to the, um, what is that called? Fan. It's crazy. That is crazy. It's so beautiful. All right, that's all. Okay, we are one step closer to our king canopy bed being finished. This is what it's looking like right now. We just put up the headboard. He's just screwing in all the nuts and bolts. And then I think after this, we can go ahead and put the mattress with well, box spring and then the mattress on top. We're still waiting for our bedding. It should be coming in today from Wayfair. This bed is from Overstock, I believe. I'm gonna link everything down below, but I think this is from Overstock. And I love that it's not that annoying, obnoxious gold. It's really subtle. I do need to go ahead and hit this with that uh, perfect glass cleaner or something, I don't know, like metallic cleaner. It looks really, really good though. Who is ready for it? The grand reveal. Okay, it's not so grand because we are not going to put the mattress on right now so we need to go get some sheets for the box spring so what i'd like to do is sometimes your box springs are the first thing to get ugly we have kids we're a little bit rough with our beds so um the box spring i like to cover it with a huge king sheet and i don't really like i'm not a fan of um bed skirts so we're just going to cover we have two box springs we're just going to cover them with a king sheet and then we're going to put the mattress on top and then the bedding and the throw pillows and everything so this is what it looks like with just the um, furniture and the box springs all right I know you can't really get the full idea because those hideous box springs are right there but that's what it looks like let me know what you guys think I really like how far away the rug is. I was gonna push it back a little bit, but I kinda like it being at the outermost edge of the bed. What do you guys think? Should I push it back that way a little bit more, or is it fine like this? Again, ignore those um, dressers right there. We are returning those, and we're gonna get some different ones that closer match that color. So this is like an ivory tusk color it's not exactly white but it's not beige either it's just kind of that happy medium um it's kind of like a little like a bright oatmeal i think we're gonna keep those lamps i really like that brushed gold look i think it looks great let me know what you guys think and yeah i think i'm gonna head to at home now because i have a better idea of the color scheme that we're going for here so yeah that is all i will meet you guys at home Okay, so we're inside and of course I ended up finding a couple things that I did not come here for But as I'm looking I go to the decorative object aisle And there's just a couple of things that I really really want um, on areas like our nightstands uh, Just kind of to like dollop around the house and to have some pieces that you can switch out to kind of refresh the home so I think I'm gonna do that like this is one that I'm looking at. I really, really like this huge hourglass. I have some smaller ones, but this one is really nice. The only thing I'm unsure about is the color of the sand. I really wanted white, um, so I'm gonna keep looking. They may or may not have it. Um, if they don't, that's fine. I might just get another time piece, like, I don't know, like one of these clocks or something. They have so many things to choose from. Like, I'm telling you, there are like aisles of just random stuff. It's like an in-person Wayfair, so. I'm gonna keep looking and then I'll let you know what I pick out. Okay, so I didn't end up getting anything from the decorative object section. I just didn't see anything that really fit our decor. So what I was thinking of doing was where the dressers are. Um, so the lamps 
are gonna go smack dab in the middle and I wanted to put something else either like one big item on one side and then nothing on the other or I wanted to do like one item and then the lamp and then another item but I just didn't I'll show you guys what I thought that I was gonna do but honestly I couldn't reach it and I was like it's not meant to be so I let it go but we ended up in the throw pillow section finally so this is what I have so far and these are great prices y'all okay if you guys know about throw pillows they are like freaking high and these this one at least is $19 I'm not looking at the prices for the rest of them I'll check them later but so okay so I'm trying to find pieces that match but just the nature of this store like everything is so all over the place you're just not gonna find it so I was like okay then maybe it kind of is a good thing if we have like like different colored pillow not different color like all in the same family but with different accents and different pops so this is what I came up with so this one has like a little reptilian thing going on here um these have like gilded branches and this is just like a leaf texture with some shimmer to it depending on which way you look at it so they're all in the same family if you know what I mean I'm also trying to mix up sizes so these two would go um since they're pretty much the same size this would go on one side then the other and then this would go in front of another one so I'm gonna finish looking for some and then I'll just give you guys the rundown of what we got at home welcome home you guys thank god we are finally back home so I went ahead and I got rid of all of this trash right here hubby helped me load it onto the street because big trash comes tomorrow so let me show you guys where we are with throw pillows this is what i ended up getting i love that snake print one i showed you guys that earlier but oh my god it's so cute this is kind of a burlap colored one i really didn't want to go too burlap but this one had um a little bit of an exception because i don't know if you can see but underneath the burlap threads are kind of like this shimmer thing happening here so when it's reflected against the light it gives you more than just khaki so that's why i got that one then you guys saw this one already the branch gilded branch one then this one gave me kind of like a chic sweater vibe i was really into that i love it i love the, the movement the texture really really had me so i need to fluff this one out to show you guys how this really looks okay so this one reminds me of this super duper expensive one that you get at z gallery let me see if i can zoom out oh i'm already zoomed all the way out okay so this is how i would fluff it so i'd go all the way down and then it has these little tendrils so you just smooth it all the way down first it's gonna look like that and then you take it and you shake it just to get those little tendrils out see and so it kind of like gives it some movement and you can shake it more if you need to so there's that love that for me so cute i just wanted one because i really didn't want to go too heavy with that i just don't want my living room to look like a college dorm so there's nothing wrong with that i just did not i'm not going for that look then this one is also like this crochet vibe it's like sweater vibe super textured except um the tendrils are on the outside love it okay then we have two more so this one was that leafy one that i showed you guys in the store and then i saw this at first but when i saw it it was like a darker gold then i popped by this one and i was like am i tripping love this for me so i got it so a quick little tip when you are setting up your throw pillows is so if you put them on the couch and they're out of order then you have to take them off and then they get deflated, you gotta refluff them. Like, it's just a tip to organize your throw pillows. It just makes life so much easier. Is to do them on the floor. So while you're sitting down, um, kind of do them like this. So you can see the ones that you want actually on the couch. So I'm definitely not gonna go with this one. These are too close in color, even in texture. So I would just kind of rearrange them however you'd like, but you can do it here so it's kind of like practicing and then once you're ready you can put them on the couch and then when you kind of back up you'll see what it'll look like on the couch so you don't have to commit yet you know so i'm going to go ahead and set up my throw pillows and then i will let you guys know what i finally decide and we'll just go over it all together so i'll catch you in a bit Alrighty, guys so this is the finished result so we decided to go with these pillows 
for the wingback chairs and these for the couches. I love all of the textures. I think it worked beautifully. I think now that I'm looking, I am going to switch this one with this one. So yeah, I kind of want this gold moment here. Yeah. That's the thing I love about throw pillows. Like you can just, like the name says, you can literally throw them and just add a pop of texture, a pop of color. You can literally do whatever you want. So I think I am gonna do a little bit more editing, but I wanted to show you guys basically what it's gonna look like right now. We still have so much furniture coming in. We need our coffee table, our coffee table decor, some curtains here, um, some accents up top, a big picture. So we're not finished, but um, I did wanna show you guys what it's looking like so far. Tomorrow, our big throw should come in, so I will update you guys with the rest of the decor. So if you guys like this video, make sure you thumbs up subscribe to my channel and keep your post notifications on so you guys can get notified on the next home decor video that I post. Love you guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye.